Hey again, everybody. Tyler Parsons back again. Going to dive into a little bit more super speed golf. So I've been doing a lot with super speed golf, both with myself uh, and with my players. Seen great feedback. Again, I'm not a training aid person, so the fact that we really like what we're seeing is going to be great, uh, good info for you. If you're unfamiliar with super speed golf, it's an overspeed training program, so it teaches the muscles neurologically how to fire a little bit faster almost immediately, uh, but it also works dominant and non-dominant side. So if you followed along with the workouts in the gym, you know that we want that body to be even. This helps that out because there's no substitute for swinging left-handed as much as we want to try and achieve that in the gym. So this helps out. It's definitely gonna be a workout. So three different sets, depending on male, female, junior, height, different things. They have different sets, weighted slightly different, but the green is gonna be the lightest. This one's gonna be roughly 20% lighter. We go up to the medium and then the red is actually slightly heavier. And what we do is they have different protocols. This being the introductory protocol that we're gonna go through, okay? So it's really important that you go through, have a good warm up, get ready to go. I love the feedback that this radar gets. Now, it, it doesn't give you fantastic, consistent numbers that are gonna match up with our track man, but it does help you see, because each swing needs to be faster than the previous one, it gives you something to sort of gauge and go off of, okay? So, um, the majority of my players, I tell them to go on and get this. As you learn more of what it sounds like with the swoosh coming through, you actually learn what faster is. Okay, so again, if you haven't done a warm up, go on and do that, and let's dive into this introductory protocol. Okay, so the introductory protocol, we start always with the lightest. I have my radar set up slightly in front and angled like they recommend. Um, again, it's just for that feedback. You're gonna see, I obviously have on my gym clothes because this is gonna be, again, it's a, it's a nice little workout, but you can do it on the range, okay? I do have on golf shoes uh, because I have very active feet. So I wanna make sure that I'm able to push, leverage, make sure that everything's rotating uh, the way that I want to, okay? So you start with, again, the green, you get set up in your golf posture, you're gonna go through and you're gonna do, if you're a right-handed player, the dominant side, three times. The key I see everyone messing up on is they don't understand the intensity. You want to pull and go, I'm trying to see 150 on this radar, then I'm trying to see 151 or better, then 152 or better, okay? So go nice and hard, but get set up, swing through, that's 134, you wanna regroup, go aggressive, 137, so I'm happy, last one, 148. We then switch over and swing the non-dominant side, left-handed for me, it's important that you switch up the grip, it's extremely important that we build that up to where it's as close to that dominant side as we can. So to start with, 117, that actually dipped to 116, and then 128. We're then moving on to the medium stick, bouncing straight into it, I'll get set and go. 133, we'll definitely see a drop where it's a heavier club, 138, 139, I didn't think that would get it. We're then over to the left, 117, 119, 125. So I'm actually happy with that, because again, it's a little bit heavier of a club, but I kept my numbers about the same. So the heaviest one, I know what I'm getting into here. Again, I want this one to show as fast as it can. I'm in my head trying to think, I definitely want to beat the blue, but I'm gonna to try to keep up with the green, which is gonna be very tough to do. 110, 136, 134. 
not too bad. Over to my nemesis, the left-handed. It feels very awkward for everybody, myself included. Those two are both 112. But again, 115. Very, very, very important to even those out to get more comfortable. And usually, as you go through it a couple times, the left gets better. Let's jump over to the next set. Right back to the green. We don't want time to elapse, so as soon as we're done with that, we kick over. And now you're going to do a step change. What that is, is that we turn back, we get loaded up, we step into it, plant, and go. Okay? I love this one because, again, a lot of you don't understand how to drive off the back foot. This forces you to drive. And then as well, we learn to plant while we're going, applying the brakes of the forward so that it rotates and leverages off the ground. A fantastic um, addition that I love this swing. So, same thing, we're thinking for myself, 150, not a chance of that happening. Load and go, 142, load, 44, 45, okay? Not so fun on this one. Again, it's a must. Change the hands, left-handed. You can tell that one was way better just by the sound. And that's what I'm talking about. You sort of learn what that load is like with the shaft, what the sound is like. So I'll make sure I'm in the right area. 36. 32. 37. Again, I'm not holding anything back on these, and you shouldn't either. Go hard. Get out of breath. Get tired. This is the introductory, and it's still kicking my butt as I'm going. Because again, I'm going all out. Each one of those got better. 133 being the highest. I'm telling you those numbers, again, that's feedback. Something for you to aim for, to know, to be able to do, but each one is getting better. Get that set. 26, I'll take it. 30. 31. I win, each was better, still not what I want. Oh boy, here's the fun one. The left with the heavy always gets me. Really poor shoulder turn there. Fast serve 28. 26. So there's the step change. We're immediately going to jump into the next one. Last but not least, right back to the lightest. We get back in golf posture again. No break is taken. We're going to go three as hard as we can. Highest number possible. We're going to see a 150 here, okay? 46, 46, ah, 149. Sorry, no, you can't see the numbers. No, I'm not making it up. Um, there's the introductory protocol. Great for a lot of you to start with, to run through, to go. Check them out online. They're going to tell you to do this for a set amount of time. Get started on it. Pick up speed. If not immediately, almost immediately, and run through each protocol.